this it says that we have some bars and we want to know that how much water will be trapped after raining so as you can see the water will be trapped here is actually a six so you just have to figure out the water which is trapped we will see the entire approach you can jo just go and watch this entire video and you will actually solve it let's go on to next it has been asked by amazon bloomberg apple adobe index google microsoft tiktok tesla facebook spotify walmart salesforce yahoo flipkart uber zoho jp morgan nvidia uh, uh, agoda uh, Goldman Sachs, vmv expedia visa tcs and the list goes on and on hi guys welcome to day 12 of 100 days 100 days ke baad 100k plus low placement lag raha hoga as you can see it has been asked by so 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 many companies let's see what the problem says the problem says that longest substring without repeating characters you have to figure out the longest substring which has no repeating characters again the characters which you can include in your substrings are okay as consists of english letters digits symbols and spaces which means it is just not 26 letters it is 128 all possible characters which we have in our like english now coming on back we are given a string s and we have to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters substring you know a part of the string which means and without repeating which means it should not have a repeating characters and for short once for short things which, which we have seen that we have just 128 characters so we just have to make sure in that substring portion that character is not repeating let's see uh, how we can simply do it so one very obvious obvious thing which comes to our mind is that uh, substring but yeah we have to find the substring and we have to find that it is not repeating so what we can do is I know that this is my string so I can generate all my substrings now how to generate all the substrings is just okay my i is here so one time my j will be here so ad is one substring adb is other, other substring adc adbc is other adbca is other so that is how I can okay now my i was here and I was moving my j okay for one i j and then again for this i j will be here j will be here j will be here and so on and so forth again for this i j will be here j will be here j will be here and so on and so forth so that is how i can generate all of my substrings now when a substring when a substring is generated i will have to check if that substring has any of the repeating characters so how we can check that we can simply iterate on that substring iterate on substring and i just keep i just keep the count of frequency of the element if the frequency becomes two oh it is repeating so i don't want that repeating thing so what i'll do i'll just do i'll maintain a frequency of that character so as to know if that substring is repeating or not so what you saw okay i'll generate all of my substrings in o of n square time and to check each substring if it is repeating or not as in like it has repeating letters or not i'll again use a o of n operation so in total my complexity will be actually be a o of n cube want to have a quick glance at the code the quick glance at the code it's very simple it will look like that i will iterate on all of my ijs as i showed you above also that it is just iterating on all the ijs possible ijs when we have iterated on all the possible ijs i will have to check okay for that i to j substring is that a repeating check the repetition it will check if that is repeating or not if that is not repeating if that is not repeating so then only i will actually update my answer with the maximum possible length because i am only concerned about the length and length from i to j is actually j minus i plus one so the function the check repetition it will just have an unordered set or you can also have an unordered map also called as a hash or a hash map then you will just simply check that if you find something repeating which means if you find something repeating then simply return a false if not then ultimately return a true and that's how i can simply solve it in o of n cube time and space is also o of for sure o of k because uh, my substring maximum number of characters inside basically you, you will form n square substring but then ultimately you are using this hash set and this hash set will for sure contain 128 unique characters that's the reason my space is o of k itself now now comes on that for sure this is not the optimum approach let's think of something else so you saw we are emphasizing so much on 128 characters which means we for sure know that the length length 
can never extend or never go beyond 128. This is also called as a pigeonhole principle. Now, what the pigeonhole principle says is that if I have three blocks, now if I have three blocks and I have four pigeons, one, two, three, and I have four pigeons, let's say other, and all the pigeons needs to come to a block. So for sure, one pigeon has to come to a block, which is already filled with a pigeon. That's called a pigeonhole principle. But bhaiya, what's the logic of this? Why you are telling me like here itself? So why I'm telling here you is, if you know that we have 128 blocks, so all these 128 blocks can have 128 distinct characters, 128 distinct characters I can have in this 120 okay now when i have these 128 distinct characters i need to know that if let's say 129 character comes in which for sure will be which for sure now when i will placing in those 128 blocks so for sure that will actually be a repeating repeating character so that is how we know that okay we can have at max one the length of my string can at max 128 and that will actually help me to optimize my answer from o of n cube to o of n into k which is k is the 128 so we know that we have we have just 120 characters so we know that the maximum length which we can have is 128 so what i'll do is now earlier I was at index i, I was trying on for all the possible j's up till the n, up till the n I was trying, here up till I was trying, but now I know my maximum is itself 128, so I will try up till the 128 itself, I will try up till the 128, which means i, i plus 128 will be my maximum, maximum j possible thing which I have to try for my specific j. So, I know, okay, 1228 is the maximum range for my J, which I have to try, starting from the I itself. So now my complexity will actually reduce to a time of N into just M. M is actually just a 128 and spaces again, minimum of N and M. That is how I can simply reduce it. And again, this will for sure pass. But, but, but again, it is N into 128. Can we still optimize it? Yeah, for sure we can. Why we even have to check for like start, starting from index i, I'm checking for all the substrings, which is 128, 128 length. Now, why I need to check that? Can I just, can't I just maximize by one substring itself? So if I am at this i, I will just plan, okay, my ultimate aim or goal is to maximize this substring length. So I'll just try to maximize this length, okay? Which means I'll keep on moving my j until I am allowed to move my j. So, okay, now my ultimate aim is to expand the window size. But, but, bhaiya, what if I am not able to expand that? So, now, how will you even know that you are not able to expand that? Okay, if I find an element which is already, let's say I am expanding this window. I to j I am expanding, expanding, expanding. Let's say I found this other element j. So, I know for sure currently the window was a d b c right i am getting a new element which is actually a a which is already there in my window so i know that okay i cannot expand it much further so what to do when you get something okay what to do when you actually cannot expand because ultimately you have to try on for all the possibilities but i was trying on for okay expand as much as possible but what if i cannot expand and how to know that uh, that something is already in my window so now i got two questions okay i have to stop expanding but uh, again when i say stop expanding i cannot terminate my program i still need to turn on the entire uh, string itself so one thing is what to do if i get something else and again how to know even that uh, i got a same character which, is, which was in my window so to know the same character in your window let's say this was the window so i can keep track of all the characters right now in a window in a hash set or in a hash map so i would know okay in my hash set i have a a d b and c right or in a hash map also you can just keep track of it as soon as you encounter it you will check okay do i have this character on my in my set or in my map yeah it has which means okay that's a repeating character so now you have to do some action action on the window itself now bhaiya okay now you got to know that how i will know that i have a character existingly in my hash set but what to even do if i have it so for sure if i encounter this a which means i am bound to encounter this a so i just will think of okay in my window i should do such an operation that a should not come 
so what i'll do is i will move okay i know i will try to figure out the location of a okay a is here i will go one step ahead of a okay one step ahead of a it will come here so i know okay my new window size will actually be good if i start from ahead of a and up till my g so with this i would also should be knowing the previous location of my a because i need to know okay as soon as i encounter my same again character which is a again so i needed to just let him know that okay bro if you are at a just move on to the next character because a will now not come a will now not come but bhaiya what if i had another a in between oh so if you had another a in between then then you would have made sure okay the window always 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 make sure that you have only unique characters in that window as you saw that you were making this window when you knew that you had unique characters so when you had encountered a a in between here itself so you would have already moved ahead so every time any time your window is always unique so that is what we will do so we'll just try on for all the possibilities and we will just use a map or a hash map to keep track of the location of the element which has occurred before so how we can simply do it let's say if my i and j both will start from here i keep track for a character s of j or basically any character character this is saying okay I, i'll use a map for that character and will say that this is the location he has to go in if he repeats something which means for when i am at this j i'll update my map of a to a j plus one which will indicate that as soon as next time my a comes in i know okay my map has a null my map has some value my map of a has some value and my a basically my index has to move on to this location which is j plus one so my index will move on to this location let's see with the drive how we'll solve it so initially you will see that my i and j were here so i just made my map of c my map of a will be updated by with one so map of a will be updated to zero plus one zero is the index of my a and plus one is the o if a comes in future i have to go on and move it to this index okay great so map of a is actually a one map of d will actually be a two school again until so far nothing is repeating so i'll keep on reading my answer answer is maximum of answer comma j minus i plus one it is a window size okay again my j will increase again b has encountered so b is index which is the index j which is plus one so it b is one two three again update the answer keep on updating the answer at every point c encountered again it is not yet in my window simply update my c with the j plus one okay that's great now i encounter a now it is already there in my window so what i did was i went okay i i, I encountered a first i have to check in my window okay if it, it is in my window will she i'll check my map hash map yeah it is there in my hash map now if it is there in my hash map I have to firstly move my i pointer. I'll move my i pointer again. How I'll check? I'll know if it is my hash map. I'll just simply check. Okay, if my map of that character, this character, if the map of this character, if it is more than zero, which means it is already there in my hash map, then I'll move my i to the map of a. So my i will move here. Now you will see that now my window size has become okay unique window. So I will update my answer. Okay, answer is equal to maximum of answer comma j minus i plus one, and also I will have to update my new map of a because again you will see map of a will actually change to five, which is j plus one. So I update my map of a also. So as soon as in future, maybe future it might help. Now, uh, as soon as my j land onto b again, j landed onto b. B is already there. Oh yeah, b is already there. So move your i to map of b so i'll move my i to a 3 okay my i moved to a 3 so now my window has become like this so you saw i was here it moved directly to your hair at this point after this b itself and that's how you would know that okay you will have unique window again that's not a one size jump that's a jump of as many size as possible it's just that you are making sure in of one time you are jumping onto the new window size which is valid window size and that's how okay when this is done i also need to update my b because for sure b can be used later on in future so i'll update my b to a j plus one which is actually six okay cool go ahead and then simply i and j if you have the i and j uh you will just know okay c c is already there yeah c was already there move to 
फाइव ओके आई मूव टू माई फाइव I moved my C to sorry I I I moved my C to four okay my C I moved to four then this is my new window size update update my size and then update my C itself with the new value which is J plus one and that's how you can simply solve it and ultimately you have reached the super end which means you have tried on for all the big size sub arrays by using a window and that's your answer will be shown in the maximum answer cool let's see how the code looks like it's pretty simple I'll use an unordered map from characters to the end. I'll simply iterate on simply having the same characters i and j which I had in my string. Now both are initially zero. I'll simply keep on moving my j. My i will move if I encounter the window. If I encounter an element which is already there in my window, how to move my window? If 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 the map of that character is more than equal to zero, which means I had already encountered that previously. So simply make my i is maximum of the current. a uh, value which is this which means okay after this window size and also the i so i just simply move this now bhaiya what this means so this simply means if you have an a let's say b c d e and f let's say if you had an a here so let's say my window size right now my right now my window size is okay let's say have as z and g so let's say my window size would have been i and j here so i and j here Right now, let's see my J again. I encountered my J again. I encountered here. So what you could have done was you could have said, "Bhaiya, you said that my I pointer will become a next index of A." So you would have said my I pointer. Let's say here I would have written a uh, uh, let's write it as B and write it as a C. So you would have said, "Bhaiya, my I pointer will become here." But I'll say, "Bro, bro, bro." My I pointer can only move ahead; it can never come back. So you are bringing your I pointer back. So that's the reason I just put a condition. Okay, maximum of this value, which is a value right here, is next index, which is A is next index. This is which is this pointer, and the current and the current index, which is already here itself. So I just want the maximum, whosoever is there. I just simply get the maximum of I because my I is all, because simply sliding windows moving only forward, and that's how you can simply solve it. And again, update the answer with the maximum of answer in the window size, which is J minus I plus one. And also make sure while you are going, which means trying for the next possibility, make sure to update your map with okay the character. Here is the A and its index is which is okay. Its next good location will be J plus one. If I start if I start off my I from this J plus one. So that's how you can simply get this solved in O of simple n time and spaces again O of minimum of n n which is actually O of k in worst case which is one twenty eight and that's how you can simply solve it. I hope that you all goodbye. Take care. Bye bye.